I yield myself such time as I may consume. General, recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in strong support of H. Resolution 431, a resolution I introduced along with Congressman John Lewis commemorating the 40th anniversary of Loving versus Virginia, the landmark Supreme Court decision legalizing interracial marriages within the United States. I want to thank Chairman Conyers for expediting the consideration of this resolution so that it could be brought to the floor before the actual date of the anniversary, which is tomorrow, June 12th. In June of 1958, two residents of the Commonwealth of Virginia, Mildred Jeter, a black Native American woman, and Richard Perry Loving, a Caucasian man, were married in Washington, D.C. Upon their return to Virginia, Richard Perry Loving and Mildred Jeter Loving were charged with violating Virginia's anti-miscegenation statutes, which made their marriage a felony. They challenged their convictions, culminating in the June 12, 1967 U.S. Supreme Court opinion in Loving v. Virginia, striking down the remaining anti-miscegenation laws that were still in effect in 16 states. The unanimous opinion, uh, in that opinion, the Supreme Court rejected bigotry against interracial uh, relations, recognizing an individual's right to marry under the 14th Amendment. Chief Justice Earl Warren wrote, marriage is one of the basic civil rights of man, fundamental to our very existence and survival. To deny this fundamental freedom on so unsupportable a basis as racial classifications embodied in these statutes, classifications so directly subversive to the principle of equality at the heart of the 14th Amendment, is surely to deprive all the state's citizens of liberty without due process of law. The opinion also stated that the 14th Amendment requires the freedom of choice to marry not be restricted by invidious racial discriminations. Under our Constitution, the freedom to marry or not marry a person of another race resides with the individual and cannot be infringed by the state. The Loving decision marked a critical step forward in our nation's struggle towards equal rights for all, particularly full marriage equality. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, from 1970 to the year 2000, the percentage of interracial marriages has increased from 1% of all marriages to more than 5%. The number of children living in interracial families has quadrupled between 1970 and 2000, going from 900,000 to more than 3 million. Because of the decision's profound impact in our society, numerous cities and towns across this country have already proclaimed June 12, Loving Day, in commemoration of this decision. Indeed, the Supreme Court's opinion forcefully rejected the argument employed by Leon Brazil, the trial judge of the case, who defended his decision uh, convicting Loving's part God's plan. Unfortunately, after 40 years, similar types of arguments are still being employed by a few to deny full marriage equality to everyone. In commemorating the legacy of Loving v. Virginia in ending the ban on interracial marriage in the United States, H. Resolution 431 reaffirms the Loving's Court recognition that marriage is one of the basic civil rights of man at the heart of the 14th Amendment protections. I strongly urge my colleagues to support this timely resolution, and I reserve the balance of my time. The